Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and you're welcome to my bakery. Today's video is going to be an empty bakery tour. So we all know I have been working on this part of my bakery for the longest time, for about three to four months. So today is going to be a reveal to show you what it looks like because they just finished working today. Actually, they just finished painting and doing a couple of things today. So I decided to share with you guys, show you guys what it looks like before we start decorating. I didn't want to take too long. I didn't want us to wait all the way to finish decorating because that might take till December. Because some of the things we need to get, they're telling us it's going to take a couple of months, a couple of weeks. So today's video for you guys, family members, is going to be a reveal of all the work that has gone into it. I can't remember the prices of every single thing that we have done, but for those I can remember the price, I will be sharing the price so if that's something you'd like, let's get into today's video. So for those of you that know, I'm a cake baker and a cake decorator in Wari, Delta State, Nigeria. And I also make some cake recipes. So if you would like to see my own cake recipes, you can go back. So a couple of people have been asking why I have not shared any recipes recently. And the reason why is because we have been working on this place, trying to get it ready, trying to get everything. You know me now, everything has to look on flick so now it is finally done we can work on recipes and i can share more recipes so if there are recipes you would like me to share please leave it in the comment section below whatever you feel about this tour i'm about to give please also leave it in the comment section below don't forget our goal we are trying to get to 15,000 subscribers before the end of november guys we're already in october fingers crossed fingers so the first thing that we're going to be showing you is the cabinet so originally, like I said, if you were watching the vlogs when we were innovating, the first thing we did was the cabinet. At first, we did not want to do this cabinet. I wanted to do just simple wooden cabinets, but it was too expensive. So we ended up choosing this, and then we used this, um, is it marble? It's not marble, but it's like a tile that looks like marble. So we used a marble tile to go just over the top. And, and then, then we used these simple white tiles for the backsplash because I wanted everything to be pure white and I wanted this to have like a little marbly, marbly effect. For the wooden cabinet in Worry, it is not a very, we couldn't get like pure white wood. So we couldn't get pure white boards to do the cabinet. So what we did, we ended up using the normal one that they have that they say is white. It looks like pink or purple or something. And then we, we brushed it or painted it or sprayed it white. When we were done, what else? So let me show you. So I really like this space because it gives like, there's a lot of space for me to keep my things. Things can be organized. Before I used to just keep things in buckets and just pile things, but now we can have them organized and everything looks really nice. So we did three cabinets here, two on top of the fridge, and then let me talk about this fridge. So this fridge was the fridge we used to use in my house before, and then we got another fridge and I decided to just spray it pink and continue using it in the bakery. So that's all we did. So we just wrapped it here and spread it lightly with pink. Pink is like my favorite color or my brand color. So that's all. So another point of attraction that just had to be in this video is this uh, cutting boards. So I got them from a friend. My friend, he lives in Benin. I think the name of his business is Sofa's Furnitures. I will leave it linked up below. So he made the three of them and sent them from Benin. And the amazing part is that they came customized. So it has my name, guys. So it has my name customized and he made them. It was so fast, I think about three or a couple of days. I did like a full review when it came. So I will leave the video linked below. Next thing we're going to be moving to is this, this stand I also just got. So for those people that know, I do desserts in Worry. So I just got this stand as one of my display stands and it's so pretty, like I really love it. It will not be here permanently because of my kids, just in case they decide that they want to come and play here, I rebuke them. So I just wanted you guys to see that. This stand, the pink, blue and yellow stand I have had for the longest time. I did it, I think when I did a birthday party, I think it was last year, so I had to make the stand. But they just fit really well. Like when I was thinking of the design of the kitchen, this 
like the position of these stands was one of the first things on my mind because I just wanted them to be lined up with different colors. I wanted everywhere to be white and then with touch of really bold colors. I feel like that's like my thing. So this rack I got during Christmas from my sister. I got this rack and she gave me a matching cake pan and cupcake pan, but it just, I think it fits perfectly here and that's all. So the sink that used to be here used to be way bigger and it used to be double sinks. So what I did, we bought this smaller one and then we bought the stand, the sink for 11,000 and bought this tap for 4,500. So anyways, that's that about this sink. I really like it. It's just a really little tiny sink. It's not so deep. And the reason why this sink is here is for when I have to do videos or when I'm just having classes and then I just want to rinse something and quickly move on. We have a bigger sink inside. I will show you guys when we get there. I'm going to be having students soon and then doing my videos. I wanted a really nice looking place to shoot my videos and I also wanted a really nice classroom for my students so that whenever they come in, we can have classes here. So this place is going to be like our classroom. We have our chairs here. We have this work table that was made by the carpenter as well. This is also new. So it just has a drawer here and a cupboard and that's all. It's just a simple cabinet space for me to keep things just in case I need extra space to keep stuff. And this place is just going to be, like I said, for my classes and our tutorial videos. Then we have a second work table over here. This work table has been here for the longest time. I have had this work table since I started baking. That's probably older than Ify. So that's like seven years. This was the first thing that I bought when I started baking and it has worked really well. So all I did, I didn't even do anything to it. It's still white, still the same color that it was originally. And then when my students eventually come, when classes are going on, we'll be walking from this table and then we'll have chairs around for all the students to be able to participate and just have a good time. For the walls, I don't think I will decorate. I'm planning to put a logo here. That's one of those, you know those logos that they put on the light or one of those kind of fancy things here just to show my business name. Um, that's what we're planning for this space. And that's all, I feel like that's all for my bakery. I don't know what to call this place, but this is like my cake decorating room. So that's all for this space. Now we're going to be moving in into the other places that you guys have never been to before. So let's go. So first things so first, we're going to be talking about the biggest thing in this room and probably the most expensive thing, which is my big industrial mixer. This mixer was a gift from my dad a couple of years ago. The funny part is when he got me this mixer, he was asking if I needed it. I was like, no, I'm not really baking like a lot of cakes. I'm just baking small cakes. I just need like small mixers. Funny enough, after he got me this mixer, I use this mixer almost every week. To make batch orders so this mixer has been very very good for me so it's very heavy i can't even move it in. i cannot lift it this is the position that has been since they brought it these are my stands for desserts like when i have kids um kids events i have a couple of stands just to decorate the tables so those are the things that are here basically then this i don't know what this is let me just just my electrical mixer, electrical scale, hand uh, holders for my flowers when I have flowers to make, and then cake pans, and just basically, I just like to get everything off the floors to prevent rats and cockroaches and all those things from getting in. So that's why we have, you see around the room, we have a lot of cabinets going around just so that everything is off the floor. So, so I told you guys about the rose gold pan that my sister got for me for Christmas. So this is it. And I've not used it ever since. I'm basically saving it so that when we start to make proper recipe videos, this will be my pan and my cupcake pan. So I've already told you guys now. This is where I keep basically my baking stuff. So my molds and cake decorating tools are inside this drawer. Right here we have our aluminum foil, baking paper, and cling film this this right here is just the wrap we use to wrap our cakes for fondant cakes and might need wrapping this is how i have been 
arranging or organizing my rolling pin for the longest time. This is just, uh, what do they call this thing? They are used to hand cuttings originally and I just turn them upside down and place them here so that it can help to hold the rolling pins because we're always looking for rolling pins in this place. Up here all we have is like waffle makers, different shapes of waffle makers, my handy um, hand mixer. I got this hand mixer from I think Sugar Craft and Boobs a long time ago. This is just our sieve, the tiny sieve and that's all. I have a lot of cake pans. I have some of them in like three different shapes or three different sizes because we try to bake in batches so we can save gas. Different pans are aligned here and then here styrofoams. Some clients will ask you for styrofoam cakes. That's like fake cakes. So these are the shapes. I've had some for the longest time. When I have students as well they use this to do their practice. This is supposed to be a bottle. This if you remember Rezi's cake, Rezi's baby dedication cake, I did like a wing. This is what the wing was. So that's what we basically use the styrofoam for. So that is basically all about my cake decorating room slash kitchen. We call this place kitchen because it has the sink here. We just don't bake here. My oven is really big so it cannot stay indoors. My oven is outside. I'm not going to be showing you guys my oven today. Sorry, I'll show you guys another time. But basically that's all about our kitchen. I hope you guys like it. So this chandelier, yes, I forgot this chandelier. This chandelier, I do not have a chandelier in my kitchen so that all those people will not be like, oh, Fumi is so bougie. This chandelier is for when we go for dessert events, but we just hung it just so that it is safe. Because if you keep it somewhere and then it falls, it's glass. I don't think it breaks and all those things. So anyways, let's move to the next space, which is going to be my office. You guys have seen my office, but you have not seen it recently, so let's go and see it now. So you're welcome to my office. I did a full review of this space, maybe in December, but I just want to show you what it looks like now, because a couple of people have asked where I do my videos. So usually when I do my sit-down YouTube videos, like Q&A and a couple of videos that I have done. This is usually the background that you see. I just add a couple of lights and then we're good to go. So let me show you the lights I use. So, so to color my uh, background, I usually just use this light. It's just a newer light that I bought and it changes the background and gives it different colors. I have the red, blue and a couple of other colors. So this is just my desk where I sit down to edit my videos, do a couple of like official stuff and that's all that is here. Last time we were here, I don't think this was here. This is just a book stand. This is a manual for my students when they come. I just put their, we have like a printout of all our recipes. So I do a printout for them and then give it to them one at a time. This is my background stand. I got this from Simbi's Props on Instagram. These are my lights. You guys wanted to see a full view of all my lights. So these are the lights I have. I have one, two, three, four, five. So I have two umbrella lights there currently somewhere being stored. I don't use them as much. This is what I use when I do sit down videos. Last time you guys were here, there was no AC, but we have AC now. We have an inverter AC works really well with like low light and those kind of things because you know Nigeria the current is always low so this place I had to declutter a little bit I felt it had too many things and it was just giving me headaches so I use this place as a background to film my videos sometimes and I also use it as a background to take pictures it's just an aesthetic place it doesn't do anything I don't store anything here except my books so these are the books I have currently in my mini library. This book is Tedeka. This is like my oldest Tedeka, Tedeka Sina. Then I have Joyce Meyer, God is not mad at you. The secret to true happiness. This is a recipe book, Prudence Apinokos book. And that's all that's here basically. And then we just have a Bible. I don't use this Bible as much, so that's why we can use it to decorate this place. And that's all. These are just candle stands. 
this flower arrangement i remember the first time i made this cabinet i did not know what to do like it just looked so big this flower arrangement was arranged and organized by my friend joyce she's a what does she do she does a lot and she's in worry so her name is viola signature so she helped me put the flowers organize the flowers to make this place look more homely and feminine so this is like a heating cupboard you put cakes here it has a bulb inside it doesn't have the energy bulb it has a normal yellow bulb inside and it dries up the cake really fast these are sugar flowers so it dries up the cake and sugar flowers so that's why this cupboard is here it wasn't here the last time but basically that is all about my office this is what my office looks like and basically i hope you enjoy the tour of this office so i'm going to take you back to my cake decorating room so let's go so that is all for the tour for today i really hope you enjoyed seeing my office slash bakery slash cake decorating room if there's something else you'd like me to talk about maybe in a q a while we are decorating this place please leave it in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys